hello everyone today I am going to start creating an open world game uh, but first I would like to mention that these open world games like Fallout uh, Witcher and Assassin's Creed so those are the games that created with uh, thousands of people but I would like to see how far we can go on our own right so let's get started so first thing is uh, I'm going to create a new project I'm going to start this project with Unreal and uh, I'll call it so this is an open world game but I'll call it my world and no, I'll call it world right so I'll add this uh, third person character and also with starter content so that I will have something to get started like some materials and textures and a character to work around in the world right let's create okay so this is the default map I get in Unreal and I can yes with this character I can walk around and everything but I'm not going to use this map I'm going to create a new level like this default level and first thing is I'm going to delete this platform and I'll add some ground here some landscape a simple landscape I'll create these settings as default and create okay uh, but these gray boxes they look kind of boring so I'll add some material here we already have some materials with starter content and I'll search grass okay we have grass right also I'll delete this player start object because uh, if I leave this here this is where my character is going to spawn instead of that I need my character to spawn wherever the camera is currently on okay so also these lines uh, those are visible because the, we haven't built light and uh, but uh, for now we don't need to build lights and anyway we are going to make this world with dynamic lighting so I'll select this light source this is our sunlight and I'll make it movable and also skylight movable so that means we do not have to bake lights right so now this is what we have for now right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this character we already have with our own character okay to do that first we need a character so let's go to Mixamo I'm sure you already know what Mixamo is so here let's grab some character and for this project I like to use this character so this knight character I'll uh, I'll download this character with skin because we need the materials and textures and skin to import into our game right okay so right. so this is the downloaded mesh I'll make it rename it night 
because this is the name that will appear in Unreal when I import this into our game right so before that we have to create another folder I'll call it character and here I will create another folder so I'm going to store all the characters that I will create throughout this project here and this character right now I'm going to create I'll call it human because this is the first character I'm going to create right go ahead and right click and create a new blueprint class and so right now what we need is a character which can move around the world so I have to select this character class as the parent class I'll name it CH CH stands for character and CH who human right okay so now this is the human class we have and we do not have a mesh yet so let's import our knight character here I'll create another folder and call it knight and drag and drop this knight character knight mesh I just downloaded here okay so we have to keep this as a skeletal mesh because we are going to add animations and everything into this character this model as later so right I'll keep all these uh, settings as default and import okay right so this is the character we just imported and when the shaders are compiled we will see the textures until then we will go back to our character human blueprint and as this skeletal mesh I will use this knight okay so it's I'll go to left view and adjust the location of this character mesh right and also this uh, this blue arrow this one it represent the forward of this character but our character is facing right so I will rotate this one 90 degrees like this so the character mesh forward is also same as the characters forward okay so how do we define this character to be spawned when I play the game instead of this third person character to do that go to world settings and select this third person game mode and expand this and instead of this third person character select this ch human let's see what happens okay something happened but we are not seeing our character that's because we haven't add a camera yet okay so let's add a camera to add a camera first we need something called spring arm so this is uh, like a camera boom or oh, I'm going to attach our camera at the end of this spring arm like this so the reason to add the spring arm is later we can add uh, effects like collisions like uh, when player is walking near some other object 
camera will avoid clipping through a, uh, that object and it will go closer or be further from the character when he's moving so we can do these effects with this spring arm component right so now that we have a camera and let's see what happens right now we have our character and also uh, but still uh, we can't look around so how to look around if we open this third person character here this mouse input part so this is the function these are the functions that we have to add to our character human class to enable it enable looking around so this is uh, with this input axis turn we can add your input your means uh, rotation around the z axis and pitch means uh, rotation around x axis so that means look up and down turn means look left or right i'll copy this part and go to our character human blueprint and uh, okay i can paste it here but i instead of that i'll create another event graph call it uh, basic input because I went to I want to keep this main blueprint graph clear and I want to structure this right so here I just added or pasted this mouse input part right so let's see what happens okay so now I can see left and right but I can't see look, can't look up and down so why is that and also one other thing the character is also moving when I look around so this is also not desired right to fix that so this character moves with as I rotate mouse uh, the character also rotates because in this uh, default pawn settings this use controller rotation is enabled so if I disable this that effect will be stopped but uh, let's see right but now the camera is also not rotating to fix that I have to select this spring arm and I have to enable this use spawn control rotation so if I enable this uh, the control rotation input which I add here and here will be affected to this spring arm right this let's see okay now we can look around but uh, one other thing this character is in T pose and it looks kind of boring so temporarily we add some animation here to do that I'll search some idle animation this one looks better and I'll download it okay and this time I don't need the skin because I already have the skin and I'm going to use this animation for our night blueprint so we don't need the skin okay until it is downloaded I'll create another folder here called animations okay so yeah so this is the animation I just downloaded I'll call it idle okay uh, I'll 
extent right now I'll drag and drop it here here you have to select uh, the night skeleton as the skeleton because that's the skeleton we need this animation to be applied right so here we have our animation so I'll quickly go to our human blueprint and select this mesh and instead of use animation blueprint I will use use animation asset and I'll go back to the here and drag and drop this animation here right now we have this character with this idle animation now let's see okay so yes so we have this animation and our character and we can look around and that's all for this video so uh, in the next video I will explain how to add movement to this character so that the character can walk around okay so see you in the next video goodbye